Welcome to the introduction to Report Design Training Series for Office Connector Query. In today's video, we'll be discussing the standard anatomy of an Office Connector Query report template. Understanding the common elements and design style used in Office Connector Query templates will facilitate easier use and navigation, as well as provide guidelines for the creation of your own Office Connector Query templates. Today, we'll be reviewing a report template designed to provide contract summary details based on a specific contract number. Each template would contain a similar set of worksheets, and these typically include an information worksheet, which contains various details on the functionality, use, and necessary software to use the template, an admin worksheet, which will be used to input any user-defined parameters. In our example today, we're being prompted to enter a contract number. These worksheets may also include a Refresh Data button. In the event that a Refresh Data button does not exist, simply use the Refresh button within the Office Connector toolbar as shown here. The Sample Values worksheet provides information which can be used on the Admin worksheet to refresh data against the sample company data provided with your installation of Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate. This worksheet would also typically include a Use These Values button. This automatically copies the sample value information to our admin worksheet. Let's go ahead and refresh our report using the sample values to bring us to our primary report worksheet. The primary report worksheet will vary in name from template to template. In our current example, it's called Contract Summary. Many of the report templates included with Office Connector Query include a secondary report worksheet. These secondary report worksheets typically provide a more detailed look based on a summary total or value listed on the primary report worksheet. The primary report worksheet in each Office Connector query template will typically include the following four sections. First, we have the report header. This contains a combination of static information as well as Office Connector functions which identify the current database name, company name, and other context information about the nature of the data. The second is a driving query. This query was inserted using the Office Connector Query Wizard. This drives the number of rows in the worksheet and determines what each row represents. The base query does not need to include all of the needed values, since these can be included using adjacent formulas and functions. Third, we have our adjacent columns, or those that have been added or inserted to the right of the driving query. Note that these cannot be separated from our base query by blank columns or columns that contain static information. These adjacent columns could contain Office Connector functions which retrieve values from our desired database, including summarized data from other tables. They may also consist of just ordinary Excel formulas or functions. In our example today, you'll notice that columns F and K appear blank. But if we select any cell adjacent to our other functions, we'll see that there is a simple Excel formula returning a blank text value. By inserting this formula adjacent to our other functions and queries, we can still provide visual separation to our data without breaking the functionality of our report. The fourth and final section is the report footer, which would contain any information at the bottom, such as totals or other summary information. If we take a closer look at the report header in our example, we'll see the report title, company name, and data folder path. These provide the end user with helpful information that confirms they are working with the appropriate data set. If we select the cell containing the company name, we see the information is provided using the Office Connector TSFind function. For more information on using the TSFind function, please refer to our knowledge base and recorded training resources available on our website. The data folder path is provided using another Office Connector function, TS Data Folder. Let's review the driving query next. We have the base of our report, a simple query pulling a list of contract items, descriptions, and original contract totals based on the contract number we specified on our admin worksheet. Using the information provided by the driving query, our adjacent columns, shown here, utilize various Excel and Office Connector functions to provide more information, such as approved changes, revised contract, previously billed, billed to date, percentage billed, paid to date, and receivables balance. Our report footer in this example gives us a subtotal amount for the original contract total, approved changes, revised contract, previously billed, current billing, percentage billed, paid to date, and receivables balance columns. 
This concludes this segment of the Introduction to Report Design Training Series for Office Connector Query on Report Anatomy. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the information useful. Thank mm -hmm. you.